Hello everyone, my name is Hao Liu. I'm a software engineer on the Ansible Automation Controller team at Red Hat and an open source contributor to the AWX project. I'm here to demonstrate an exciting new contribution to the AWX project by one of our amazing community members. This contribution allows AWX to gracefully terminate a AWX task pod by taking the terminating AWX pod out of the scheduling pool and halting the termination of this AWX pod until all running jobs on the pod are completed. Please enjoy. This is my AWX instance on my OpenShift cluster. I have not enabled the new feature yet. Let's see what happens when I kill these AWX pods when a job is running. I have a very simple playbook here that sleeps for 15 seconds. Let's launch that. All right, let's kill this pod. Since the control node for this job is ter being terminated, the job should fail. Let's go back to the UI. So we can see this job indeed failed. All right, let's enable the new feature. You can enable the feature by adding ter termination grace period seconds to the AWX resource. This parameter allow you to specify how long do we wait for the job to complete before allowing Kubernetes to terminate the pod. Let, since my sleep job is 15 seconds, let's give it 30 seconds. All right, let's wait for the AWX operator to roll out the new deployment. The rollout of the new deployment is successful. Let's see what happens when I repeat the same scenario again. Let's go launch our Sleep 15 job. And like before, I am going to kill the control node for this job. Like last time, the pod transitioned to the terminating state and a new pod has been created to replace the deleted pod. However, this time the pod deletion did not complete immediately and hang in a terminating state. And let's go back here. The job is still running. It did not die. And the instance has been marked unavailable to take it out of scheduling. Okay, the job, this time the job completed successfully. And once the job is completed, the terminating paw was finally deleted. That's the end of the demo. To sum up, termination grace period setting allow Kubernetes to wait for AWX to finish the job before actually removing the paw. Check out the description of this video for links to the PR, documentation, as well as Stanislav's wonderful presentation on our last community meeting where he walked through the PR.